Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I, Adi Mittal, and my teammates, Arjun Jodh Singh and Guntas Singh of Team Town Neutrino from Springdale School, Pusa Road, will be presenting our combined efforts in the sector of protected agriculture through our project, The Smart Greenhouse. In the recent past, we have experienced extreme crop loss due to variations in temperature conditions, unpredictable rains, and even floods. Isn't it scary that we might face food scarcity in the near future just because of destitution or inordinate water supply to the crops? Or even just extreme temperatures around the globe? Or simply because of a surge in human population? After thorough research on our problem statement, we are proud to introduce you to a glimpse of futuristic farming through our smart greenhouse, an innovation which intertwines technology with nature. To control the amount of radiant energy inside the greenhouse, we have installed a DHT11 temperature sensor. When it senses that the temperature inside the greenhouse is above the critical limit, it sends a signal to the Arduino. The Arduino then signals the PDLC panel to remain opaque. The PDLC panel again turns transparent as soon as the temperature goes below the required limit. We have placed one soil moisture sensor for each crop in the soil. When the soil moisture sensors check the moisture content to be less than the threshold value as required by the plants, the Arduino will signal the respective submersible water pumps placed in the underground reservoir to pump up the water through the drip irrigation channel. Additionally, we have also created a web dashboard to monitor the sensor readings and turn on and off the PDLC from the override button. In the future, we will be modifying our project by filtering selective wavelengths of light for specific plant growth. Additionally, we will also be adding an NPK nutrient sensor to cater to the nutrient requirements of the crops.